Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before you begin with your love reading, Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance, and this is Sagittarius energy. So this is a patient energy, uh, an energy of peace and harmony. Someone could be wanting to be more mature when it comes to this connection. They may want balance and equal give and take. So let's see, we have the Wheel of Fortune, fixed sign energy. We have the Three of Pentacles, Earth energy, and we have the Page of Wands fire energy so someone is reaching out to you with the hope of repairing a connection with you like they want to work on something they want to fix the connection with you this is someone who is making the first move they're going out of their way because they really want this with you and there's something a bit unexpected about about it with the wheel of fortune it's like you could be a bit surprised to hear from this person so let's clarify these cards scorpio Okay, we have the Page of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So yeah, there's definitely an energy of someone who is reaching out, messaging you, or you know, coming towards you. And there could be an apology here as well with the Page of Cups, but this is with the hope of being able to restore something with you. We have the Magician, Mercury Energy, the King of Cups, Water Energy, and the Queen of Cups, Water Energy. Yeah, we see the king and the queen are facing each other. There's love here. There's an energy of wanting to try again from a place of emotional maturity. This is someone you care about as well. Like there's depth of emotion and there's even unconditional love here. So someone is here to restore a connection with you and they are being quite sincere. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you. We have You Are Good Enough, Full Moon in Virgo. And we have Honeymoon, Enjoy the Bliss of Holiday Time Together. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, you and someone could be restoring a connection. And we have intelligence and mental beauty. Wisdom is the abstract of the past, but beauty is the promise of the future. So there's this energy of learning from the past, using the past to create a better future. You're both getting to, on the same page about this. It's like you guys are working together. This is someone you actually want to hear from. This is someone you want to have a relationship with. Because with the King and the Queen of Cups here, there's almost like a divine connection here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a... A card for your advice, Scorpio. Okay, we have surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling. During both the hard and easy times, keep surrendering to more joy. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.